Yeah, go back. Yeah. Good. Okay. Men's? Yes, men's. Men's in a big game. Toowoomba, not really. Mm -hmm. Toowoomba looking for their fourth game of the win of the year in the Ice House, hosted the Northside Wizards. Wizards squeaked out a victory 89-81 to um, cement that first spot, which it was it was cemented anyway, it doesn't really matter. 89-81, uh, uh, Lewis Hurd, 24 for Northside, League in 19 for the Mountaineers. You know, it, mm -hmm. pretty much the way Toowoomba season getting close, but no cigar. Yeah. And, That's... Uh, Anybody know what's wrong with Zach Carter? He's out injured, I believe. Yeah. So he didn't play. So no bubble. So they've got Hurd. You know, I don't know. It may help them. May help them not having uh, Zach Carter, who I rate as a player. But I just, you know, it may help them move the ball a little bit. Hurd can just jack it every time now, yeah. and he's capable of getting a lot when he jacks it up. So I still think they don't have a point guard, but. Yeah. Well, uh, they do have Michael O'Neill, but I just think that. It, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, that team looks like. Well, you, you you don't have a point guard if the coach doesn't think you have a point guard. So yeah. he doesn't think Michael O'Neill's a point guard. Michael O'Neill's not a point guard. So you say what you want. If the coach says he isn't, he isn't. Let's go to Rockhampton. We're Southwest. We're looking to uh, get a couple of wins and they get themselves into the playoffs. It wasn't to happen on this night. 98, 78, 20 point victory to the Rockhampton Rockets, who are now set themselves up for the big showdown this weekend. So. Uh, my boy, Robert Lippman, played for us against the Cougs, got the uh, call up and uh, he played very well against uh, his former favorite team. So uh, he had 23 to lead Southwest, Travis Reed 25, and uh, Rocky was up at the, uh, did it in the halftime, was only a couple points in at a half and Rocky stormed home to win by 20. And yeah. typical performance from Rocky. Yeah, you don't Southwest want... needed to win that though to keep the playoff hopes alive. True, but uh, let, let's... you did say you thought that it was possible for them to win. Right? It was, it was possible, but uh, let's be honest. Like when you, uh, when home, fi uh, home, home final is so important to the uh, comp uh, to getting like a championship, every victory counts. You don't want to lose a championship. By losing a yeah, I think I was only said that last week. And you said, "Oh, I could see Southwest game." Yeah, I of course no. I, of course I. You can. said you could see them winning. Anyway, they didn't win, yeah. so uh, we're going to Bundy to the Asylum, mm -hmm. the Nut House that is Bundaberg basketball. And I got a phone call from the head coach uh, Darren Roach, and he was commenting on some of my comments on last week's show. Uh, I reassured Rochi that um, I wasn't having a go at him winning Coach of the Month. I was having a go at the people that gave him Coach of the Month. Yeah. Two different things, yeah. you know. So we had a nice little chat, and uh, he told me something. I got his side of the story. I still don't think he's a QBL coach. I still don't think he should be coaching in the QBL level. Um, but, hey, he is in there, and he's embraced it. He's got himself a Coach of the, year, coach of the Month award. Yeah. So good on you, Rochi, and you can only do what you can do, but, you know. Uh, anyway, that game up there, Bundaberg hosting, and if they win, they sew up a playoff spot. They didn't win. They lost 80 to 90. Ipswich playing without Gleason, Sean Gleason, and Ippy couldn't get over the top. Uh, Stewart had 27 for Bundy. Ben Allen, 35 points and a bushel full of rebounds. He had a player of the week performance. Who knows if they did? I but God, I know he did get it, but. He did play well, and he's starting to rebound. And they, um, you know, it's tied up 71 all with seven minutes going. And uh, obviously, the force took over. I don't yeah. they didn't have uh, what's his name, Ralph either. So yeah. no Gleason, no Ralph. Still able to run out comfortable 10 point winners over Bundy. Yeah. Two, two of your point guys missing, so yeah, they still won. So you know, Bundy, this will be the first. This will be what will happen in the playoffs in Ipswich. You don't have a hope in hell if if you make the playoffs. But that'll be the first round of yeah. More than likely the first round matchup. So, I, you know, anyhow, you throw Gleason in there, you'd have to say they're a big chance. Bundy yeah. were at full strength. Mackay, in a game they had to win to have that crack at getting the host, hosting of the grand final on men's side, they were able to do it. They pulled out an 18 point victory, almost identical to the score up in Rockhampton the next morning on Sunday. Mackay, 92, defeated Southwest, 74. Uh, Van Dandy, Van Jack at 19 for Mackay. Verl Williams, the evergreen. Verl, you got to be like 45. Man. <laughs> he had 17 for the Pirates. That pretty much extinguished the Pirates' uh, playoff hopes, I think. But what it did do is it set up a hell of a, a matchup this week between Mackay and Rocky in Rockhampton. Winner take all. 
it, it's going to be a hell of a game in yeah. both men's and women's. I uh, couldn't say it any better. You could, but you won't attempt. And then, <laughs> Gladstone hosting Ipswich. Wow. It was mass, there was mass fouls, there was mass everything going on in this game. I tell you that right now. I don't know what happened. Seven texts, both coaches thrown for Gladstone. 87 um, free throws? 87 free throws. Um, Illawar, yeah. like in five minutes, fouled out. Stalling, nine minutes. Meyerding is facing the judiciary, I think. So I don't know whether we can comment, but comment we will. Yeah. You know, what the heck's going on? you, you got to learn to be quiet. You know, they can say what you want about the ref, but if the ref tells you to be quiet, you got to be quiet. Yeah. You know, I mean, people say it may sound funny coming from me, but I had one <laughs> key this year, 28 games. You know, I mean, it just you just got to shut up, shut your mouth, and don't say Wow, is this the same Sharpner? I don't get T's, man. I don't get seven T's. Seven T's. Are you kidding I re me? I remember, I remember once upon a time you were coaching at Brisbane. I could hear you from Brisbane River. What the heck are you Being talking Being loud is fine as long as you're instructing in that, but... You can't go off and, you know, some of the things that were said and done was just disgraceful for all parties involved. Yeah. You know, there's lots of talk about pe things happening up there, alcohol, fuel, I don't know. You know, they say the ref's bad. Well, here's what I got for people that say the refs are bad from Gladstone. Hey, how about you take one less import, maybe, and take one less woman's import, put that money and get yourself what's called a referee coach and get somebody up there so you can have your own referees. That's a novel idea. You buy players, maybe you should get some referees. I don't want to hear Rocky, I don't want to hear um, Gladstone, I don't want to hear Bundy bitch about the refereeing because you spend your money on your men's and women's programs and don't spend it on referee development. So there, don't bitch, don't winch ever until you start developing referees. Rant over. Yeah. Let's go to the next game. Gold Coast Maruchador. Gold Coast either win this game. I think they stitched up a playoff spot if they did, and they did. 91 Clippers, 75 was hosted down at uh, down at Maruchador. Dave Gurney, 32 points. My boy, Gold guy. Coast, down at the Gold Coast at Southport School. Dave Gurney, 32 points for the Gold Coast. DJ McGlynn and Mikael Mitchell, both 15 points for Maruchador. It's been a long season for Maruchador. They're just happy they beat Brisbane and not, you know, made their season. Uh, Pretty much put their season to an end. So. Well, they put a different surname and a different uh, first name. I don't know. Because it's uh, Mogalakai Mitchell and Mikhail Thompson. Who knows? Yeah. I don't care. I didn't do it. This is mm -hmm. BQ's thing, so it could be anything, man. <laughs> He'll probably get Player of the Week if you change his <laughs> name. Put two players together. Mikhail Mitchell got Player of the Week. No, but we can tell you the Player of the Week was Ben Allen. Good. Okay, 